Hey, come with me. I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. I bought a board, cutting board, Dollar Tree. Sand that down. The glitter anyway. I used this yellow. It wasn't my first option because it was too bright. I was looking for a green, but a, a specific kind of green. I had three different greens, but the one I wanted. I painted the whole board. So I took my calendar, I ripped it at the side to give it a rigid look. And it allows me to put the wax around it and um, really see a difference with the yellow and the wax. Mod Podge. Make sure you cover the whole calendar. FYI, it curls up the edges of the paper. Don't put too much because it, thin it thins the paper out. And it, does, and, and, and it doesn't make it flexible. Very soft and makes it, if it makes sense. Next thing, when you put this on the board, you before you start pressing down, make sure you align it and it's even from top to bottom, side to side, because once you start pressing that, paper down there's no going back to adjust it or fix it and you spread that paper smoothly there's always going to be like air bubbles but you could get a pen i left mine on it just shows that it was it's a homemade at home home made DIY project. I had to add a little bit more glue. Another thing you could do is paint the um glue the edges from the outside. I have I, I it got ripped right there, but that's okay. I have this wax. I bought it at Home Depot. Actually, I thought I was buying brown paint until I got home and started doing my project. Realized it wasn't paint. It was wax. But that was a good mistake. You need a, a round brush when you're using this, uh, using wax. I do. Because you're not painting. You're dabbing. And just dip the tip of the, of the brush. And as you give it its first coat or its first dab, see, you can add more. The good thing with this, there's no making mistakes. You just dab in and if you want it more darker, do it more darker. It was an advantage for me because I wasn't really liking the yellow. It was too bright for me. So with the wax, it just calmed, a, a brung down that bright yellow to it. Again, it's how, how dark you want it. Now, if you know me, you know that I am no expert at making ribbons. All I do is crisscross with a Ziploc. That's it. You see, that's that's... That's, that's good enough for me because it's just brung down that yellow. And not only are you dabbing the board, you're also dabbing part the edges of the calendar. Remember that. You want to incorporate it. The wax with the board and the calendar. I also added it onto the handle just to darken it up. That was it. And I just gave it one coat. Because once I add the ribbons, you can't tell the difference between the two colors. Again, crisscross, that is it. Nothing special about making these ribbons. I tie it together with the zip tie. These ribbons, if you haven't noticed your Dollar Tree ribbon section, go ahead and look because they got the cutest ribbons. Every opportunity I get that I have to go to Dollar Tree, I go on that ribbon section. 
I'm just zip tying it right now. And I like to spread it out, spread them out. The, the more ribbon, the bigger the bow. But you don't want to make a big enough bow that it's going to overtake the whole project. If your item or your project is big, then you make a big bow. And all I'm doing is spreading these ribbons. Hi guys, and if you, this is the first time you watching my video, my name is Nora, and I DIY everything. There's not nothing in this house that I haven't thrift, made, or found. So let me take you into an adventure of my projects. Been crafting for over 30 years. I'm no new to this. New to Facebook, social media, yes. And I just glued that on. And that's it. Look how cute. But make sure to follow me on Insta um, on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Thank you. And I'm still spreading those ribbons. I'm a perfectionist. There you go. And just glue it. And I'm done. What, 20 minutes? That's it. Make sure to look out for another DIY video. Thank you.